super having you here. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button now and also the bell ding uh, so you'll find out when I'm uploading videos because I'm going to be doing lots more very, very soon. Uh, but today's is a very, very exciting one because I've decided to do something new. I know, get excited. Uh, <laughs> I'm excited anyway. Uh, <laughs> so today I'm doing Snog Marry Avoid Lush Perfume Edition. <gasps> so I'm going to be doing Snog Marry Avoid but for beauty products. So this is like something that you love would be snog, something you can't do without for the rest of your life, maybe would be marry, and something that you're not super hot on would be avoid. You don't have to absolutely hate it, but you know, it's something that's not top of my pops. So, today, as I said, I'm doing Lush Perfumes. So, if you know anything about Lush Perfumes, you'll know there are quite a lot of Lush perfumes because not only are the different volumes sort of of the regular perfumes but there's also a lot of ones that come out through Lush Kitchen that are exclusives that you can only get every blue moon if you fight teeth and claw to get them <laughs> uh, so yes it's very exciting when you do get them of course if they're there, if they are exclusives but right so Today, we're going to start with my pick for Lush Perfume or Lush Fragrance Snog. So for Snog, I've picked Staying Alive. Ah, 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 ah. Yes, Staying Alive. Uh, <laughs> this is a Volume 3 fragrance. Although having said that, it's actually not available in Australia. So I had to wait till I went to the UK on holidays to buy it because we can't get perfume sent here because, you know, rules. <sighs> Stupid rules. Anyway, so, so Staying Alive is my snog fragrance. And basically it's my snog fragrance because it's a really interesting one I I love it because it's full of surprises so basically this is the the short story so the short story is you put staying alive on it smells really smoky and maybe a little bit masculine maybe that's why I like it uh, <laughs> and then then it evolves so this is a real shape changing perfume you know it doesn't just start as one thing and then you you smell like that the whole day you, it starts as one thing and I would describe it as smoky and sexy uh, so it starts as smoky and sexy and then it turns into something oh my god so sweet yes that's sweet uh, and so what you're left with is like traces of the smokiness like very very small traces of smokiness but over this bed of luscious, caramelicious sweetness. Now come on, if that hasn't sold it to you. <laughs> but I have to warn you, the only thing is, if you're not a fan of really strong fragrances, you might not like this because it is quite strong. It's one of those ones that I'll put on sometimes if, I'm, if I've got a day when I have to go like, right, I have to go boss level today, I go staying alive. So if that makes sense. So yeah, so that's why it's snob because it's exciting. It's <laughs> it keeps you guessing, but it's actually really, really sweet. Ah! <laughs> snob pick. All right, moving right along. Now, if you have to pick a fragrance to marry for the rest of your life, well, you have to think about it because if you had to wear one fragrance for the rest of your life, that's a pretty big commitment and it's pretty hard for me to commit to one fragrance because if you've watched any of my other videos you might know by now that I am like a serial monogamist when it comes to perfume. So, <laughs> so by that I mean I have different perfumes, different fragrances, lush ones these are because I'm very into lush fragrance. Um, I have different ones for different 
times. So as in Staying Alive is my boss level fragrance. Um, and so is HQ. But anyway, that's another story. It's, HQ is very strong. Don't go there if you're not into like, whoa. Um, and then I have all my little sweet ones. My, you know, my citrusy ones. Uh, and one that was like the bridesmaid for Mary, which didn't quite make it, was Celebrate. So I won't go into that one right now. Needless to say, it is citrusy. So it's a really nice, slightly sweet and citrusy one that you can wear easily every day. But of course, and no shocks here, pipping it at the post has to be... Calacus! Oh my God, Calacus or Calacus. I say Calacus, some people say Calacus. It's kind of like tomato, tomato, so anyways, uh, someone at Lush will tell me one day that I'm saying it wrong, probably. <laughs> uh, but anyway, it's, it doesn't matter because I'm in love with it. So, <laughs> Calacus, or Calacus, um, is a Lush Kitchen edition from 2013 originally. Um, it's, I think it's come around again since then, I'm not sure though. <laughs> um, and it's been described by... Uh, there was a website I found it on called fragrantica.com, who I have no affiliation with, um, described it as a gourmand. Now, now, um, this is interesting because a gourmand, a gourmand fragrance is described that way because it's supposed to smell like food. Mm. So other famous gourmands were things like Angel, if you've ever smelled Angel. So it had notes of like apple pie and blah 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 blah, you know, really sweet. I think it was like candy floss and apple pie and stuff like that in Angel. So this one, Calacus or Calacus, is described as a gourmand also. So interesting to note. Um, it's yeah, it's very citrusy again, but very, very sweet. So notes of lime, neroli, um, orange. It's described on here, we've bottled the smell of a Mexican festival. Uh, and it is, it's very, very sweet. So yes, it's very, very sweet. And I love it because it's sweet and citrusy. Uh, and I think I also like it because it smells a little bit like a lemonade ice block or like some kind of like sweet you know, ice, in, in the UK, you would say ice lolly. Uh, but here in Australia, we say ice block. Same thing, uh, frozen sweeties. So yeah, that's what this is like. That's why Calicus, or Calacus, is my Mary pick. Right, moving right along. Now this is the part that we don't want to talk about because everybody out there has a different favorite and my avoid might be your favorite so if it is i apologize in advance it's nothing personal <laughs> my picks might be your avoids i in fact let's just say right here i would love all of you to put your snog marry avoid fragrances in the comments because especially if they're lush ones and if you're another lush vlogger out there Please say hello. I am trying to get to know everybody on the YouTube vloggyverse, or especially Lush. So please say hello below and I'll come say hello to you and check out your channel. You can check out my channel. We can be best friends. <gasps> you never know. Uh, <laughs> so we could, we could like trade Lush products and, and stuff. Anyway, so yes, please let me know. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love a likey like. I uh, love a comment as well if you're into these things. So my avoid fragrances, I don't have of course on me. I will I'll do a photo and go like wah, wah, and we'll come back off. Um, so yeah, I don't have my avoid fragrances because I don't like them. <laughs> uh, but there was a runner up, which will be a surprise, and she was Princess Cottongrass. <gasps> I know, shocking. Um, but I, a funny story, I actually bought Princess Cotton Grass at the Oxford Street store and then decided I didn't like it. I, had, I Don't panic, I hadn't used it. I, didn't, I used the sample on my wrist and stuff uh, when I was in the store, but then afterwards I was like, you know what? Mm, not me. Um, so yeah, it's kind of got a really sad backstory, which... <laughs> 
Like it's inspired by Princess Cotton Grass, who's some tragic story, and that's cool for some people, but I'm really into the backstory sometimes, so uh, behind the fragrances. So for me, that was one of the reasons why I ended up not liking it. That, and it was very, very kind of lily, very kind of light. It's been described by some people as like an alien floral, like, It's been described by some people as an alien floral, which, whatever the hell that means, but I can kind of relate because it's kind of like, kind of like a lily fragrance, but very thin. Uh, it didn't last very long on me and it was just cold. It smelled cold, as in like, you know, had no personality for me, for me. So if someone out there loves it, I know. Please don't hate me. I don't hate you. It's just nothing personal. I just did not dig Princess Cotton Grass. But she's not even my number one. And this may be even more shocking. <gasps> my number one avoid fragrance is... <gasps> really don't like Dirty. Dirty is kind of a minty fragrance and it was kind of a play on like, you know, if you go out, you go out and you, you know, you've been, I don't know, you know what I mean? Like you're sweaty and then you spray it yourself and it's kind of like, cool, I'm cool. Like I'm going out to get more sexy on. I, I don't know, something like that anyway. But to me, <laughs> Dirty just smells like mint and BO mixed together. <laughs> Oh, Ooh. Uh, yes, mint and B.O. That's what dirty smells like to me, I'm afraid. So I'm not a big fan. Ooh. <laughs> Anywho, right, that's it. That's my snog marry void. I'll be over here snogging and marrying my little <laughs> Kalagasin stained love. Ooh, mm, darling, you're so sexy. Oh, it's so sweet. Oh, but you, you are also so sweet. <laughs> So there we go. Um, silliness, silliness, silliness. But uh, I am a massive fan of Lush fragrance. So yes, I have quite a lot of Lush fragrances. I am a big fan and always excited when the new ones come out. Um, I recently got I'm Home and Cardamom Coffee. They're both really nice. Ooh, I should do a video on those. They smell suspiciously like two other fragrances to me. They do, they do. Maybe I should do that for my next video because to me, they smell a lot like two pre-existing fragrances with just little tweaks. Little tweaks, little tweaks. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for watching today. I'll stop blabbering on, but I really appreciate you tuning in to my videos. It's very exciting and I would love it if you would like if you subscribe, if you'd hang around, if you'd comment, if you'd just like share the love, share the video, I would love you. Uh, and thank you so much for getting involved. Channel only gonna just grow and grow and grow now because I've got so many exciting things I wanna pop on here. And I would love any suggestions, if you want anything reviewed, and I have it, I'm happy to do it. You just name it, I'll do it, because I'm like that. Anyhow. <laughs> Time for me to go, but you have a fabulous day. I'm excited, as you can tell, because I'm just like, Bruh! and um, I'll catch you again soon. Okay, bye! <laughs>